Hello, I'm Dr. Rosemary Leonard and today I'm going to talk to you about fungal skin infections. Our skin plays host to numerous different bugs including bacteria and fungi or yeasts. Normally they live happily in balance with one another but sometimes the yeasts can thrive and grow. This typically happens in warm, hot, moist environments. So the places I see fungal skin infections are under the breasts, around the groin in men, vaginal thrush is another common place, and also between the toes, where the rash is known as athlete's foot. Fungal skin infections are typically very itchy. The skin looks red and inflamed, but it always has a very well-defined edge to it. You can clearly see where the rash is occurring and where the normal skin begins. Interestingly, athlete's foot nearly always begins between the little toe and the next one along, and then it spreads inwards along to the big toe. The best way of treating fungal skin infections is with antifungal creams and powders that you can buy from the chemist. They're also available on prescription from doctors. But you also need to get the skin ventilated so it doesn't get moist, so it can dry out. That means, if possible, wearing sandals and not wearing very thick socks with thick trainers which have got padded insoles which make the feet sweat. Wearing cotton next to your skin is important too, so that means wearing cotton socks and also cotton underwear. If you're wearing clothing that contains polyester or nylon or lycra, it's much more likely to become hot and sweaty and fungi are more likely to thrive. Recurrent fungal infections are more common in diabetics because there is sugar in the sweat. So if you are getting recurrent fungal rashes that are reluctant to clear, please do go and see your GP.